Long Care Nation. In this video, I want to talk about this uh, Atoto A6PF uh, Android-based uh, head unit. Now, uh, as you can see here, I've got this mounted in my daily driver. Uh, and if you remember, if you're uh, one of uh, the subscribers that uh, follow me, uh, you'll know that last year I installed an Atoto S8 standard uh, in my lawn care truck. Uh, and I was doing a bunch of uh, different upgrades to the truck to uh, basically take my older truck and uh, you know, spruce some new life into it and make it a bit more like a newer vehicle uh, or add some of the features that you'd find in newer vehicles uh, for using it in my lawn care truck. Well, long story short, I've had that unit now in the lawn care truck for over a year now, and it's been absolutely fantastic. It has worked uh, pretty much flawlessly uh, and has been a joy to use. It's so awesome, especially with the wireless Apple CarPlay uh, to be able to just get into the truck and uh, have it connect automatically. And then, uh, you know, you've got Apple CarPlay and basically uh, pretty much anything you can think of uh, with these being uh, Android based, uh, it's like having an Android tablet uh, in your vehicle as your uh, head unit. So uh, in that respect, uh, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that brings us to this A6 PF model. I liked the um, Atoto S8 standard so much uh, that I decided I wanted to upgrade uh, my daily driver to have all those features as well. This uh, particular uh, vehicle I'm driving is a 2008 Mazda 5. Uh, that I bought brand new back in 2008. Uh, so it had one of those integrated uh, radios uh, that has all the buttons and stuff kind of built into the dash unit. So with this particular unit, I had to buy uh, a new dash bezel uh, because once I removed that radio, the whole bezel is a part of it uh, and had to uh, come out. Uh, so it's interesting uh, with the two uh, different Atoto radios uh, with installing in my truck uh, was basically just pulling out the radio and replacing the radio and uh, having the dash all stay the same. Uh, and then with this uh, A6 in the Mazda, a little bit more uh, of a uh, different install because I'm actually replacing part of the dash, but very simple as well um, with uh, in terms of uh, getting it to work. And as you can see, it uh, pretty much looks uh, in terms of the dash bezel and stuff, it looks like it's factory, like it's, uh, it was meant to be there, very solid uh, unit. And then uh, the Atoto A6, uh, itself. Uh, I've had it for uh, just over about a month and a half now uh, testing it and it has been equally uh, as flawless as the S8 standard. Now there's a couple of differences uh, between the S8 standard and this A6PF. Uh, the uh, A6PF would be considered more of an economical uh, unit. Um, it's a little bit uh, lower priced. Uh, the uh, main difference there is it's got a little bit uh, less memory uh, included in it and all of the connections uh, on the back of the radio are done through basically wiring harnesses. So there'll be one like main connector on the back of this unit with a wiring harness that connects to that. And then that gives you all of your other uh, like RCAs and all that sort of stuff for video inputs and all that sort of thing. Uh, whereas on the uh, Atoto S8 standard, a lot of those RCA connectors and things for uh, video ins and video outs and all that sort of stuff are uh, basically... Uh, on the back, physically on the back of uh, the uh, head unit itself. So uh, a couple of uh, little bit uh, of differences there. You'll notice on the uh, uh, this A6 unit, there's no USB port or micro SD slot here on the front that the uh, S8 standard had. So uh, a couple of different little cost savings that they've done with this unit. Uh, to bring the price down. But for my application in this vehicle, uh, where it's just a daily driver, I don't need all of those other uh, connections. Uh, for this, it's a very basic install, just going to the factory speakers. Uh, didn't need to go, uh, there's no amp in this vehicle, no factory amp or anything. Uh, so I didn't need any of uh, those really uh, different extra connections. Uh, so in terms of performance of this unit, um, the screen quality is fantastic, just as good as the S8 uh, standard model. Uh, the uh, 
zippiness of it uh, in terms of uh, you know lag or anything like that on the screen there hasn't been anything you'll notice here uh, I've got a couple of uh, apps there on the screen there if I go to the app drawer like you'd see on a, a basic Android unit you can see it's uh, very responsive uh, very easy uh, to use and you can see with the selection of uh, apps here that uh, pretty much uh, you know comes with a bunch of stuff comes with the uh, Chrome browser uh, you've got a music player, you've got Google Maps built in, uh, an equalizer app. Uh, it's got uh, uh, Bluetooth, of course, uh, we've got a, a stereo, uh, steering wheel controls where you can uh, set up uh, and map out your steering wheel controls if your vehicle's uh, steering wheel has uh, uh, volume buttons. Uh, and, uh, you know, different selectors and stuff, which I've uh, done on this unit. Uh, so. Uh, in terms of uh, the actual software, uh, you can see it's got YouTube on there. Pretty much anything uh, that you could put on an Android tablet, uh, you can put uh, on this unit. Uh, it's got uh, the Google Play Store built into it. Uh, and you can add, obviously, some other uh, different um, uh, app stores on there as well, like the Amazon App Store and stuff by uh, side-loading, just like you would on an Android app. And that also... Um, would let you uh, put some apps on there as well that maybe you can't get uh, on the Play Store for this particular uh, unit. For example, uh, there's no official Netflix app uh, for an Atoto uh, stereo. So when you go uh, to the Play Store on this unit, uh, you're not gonna find Netflix available for this. But uh, as I showed in my S8 uh, standard video, uh, with side loading and stuff, there are uh, lots of resources online that uh, would allow you to uh, side load Netflix. And as I showed uh, in that S8 video, uh, that you can side load uh, basically anything you want on the unit and have working Netflix uh, on the unit. So I'm not going to go through all of the different software features like showing you uh, Netflix working on this unit uh, or um, like uh, Amazon Prime Video and stuff like that. I did all of that uh, in uh, the S8 video and this is uh, the exact same software, same operating system, all that sort of stuff. So if you want to see all of the your sort of... Uh, in detail of uh, this particular unit uh, or the software of this unit, then I'll leave a link in this uh, uh, at the end of this video where you can see that S8 standard uh, video where I go through uh, extensively all of the different software. But this unit is pretty much exactly the same uh, in terms of that. What I did uh, get to uh, try out with this particular unit uh, that I do want to chat that was differently about um, the S8 standard uh, is uh, in part with the installation of this unit uh, and uh, in a different kind of case use scenario than I have with the S8 standard. So with the installation of this unit, uh, because the vehicle is pretty basic, uh, it was just a, uh, a standard um, you know, factory car radio system. There's no amplifier in this vehicle. Uh, the factory radio was just uh, uh, driving the speakers directly. Uh, I basically uh, did the same thing with this uh, uh, A6PF. I just wired it directly uh, using just the standard uh, Mazda radio adapter uh, off of Amazon. So basically uh, what that uh, did was it allowed me to solder the wires from uh, the A6 uh, wiring harness directly to this other small wiring harness that then allows me to basically plug and play into the vehicle's uh, wiring uh, uh, adapter for uh, the factory radio so that I didn't have to cut any wires or anything in the vehicle. And if I ever go to sell the car, I can basically just pull it out and uh, plug the factory radio back in and keep the uh, Toto for maybe a, a different vehicle. So uh, with the truck and the S8 standard, because the truck had a more premium audio system, it had the Bose radio with factory uh, amplifier Bose, amplifier Bose speakers, it has a subwoofer system, it has uh, uh, GM's OnStar system, uh, and the uh, steering wheel controls as well, and they're all tied together uh, in that system. It's all a big integrated system. I had to buy a very expensive uh, interface uh, box to allow me to make all of that work with the Atoto. Uh, and like I say, with the uh, uh, Mazda, um, I didn't have to do that. I could wire the total directly to the Mazda. Uh, 
and that also includes the steering wheel controls on this uh, particular uh, vehicle as well. It didn't need any sort of interface box or anything like that to make the steering wheel controls work on this vehicle. Uh, in contrast to my truck where it did need that interface box to make the steering wheel controls uh, as part of that system because it was all tied together uh, to be able to make that all work. But with this uh, unit, uh, was able to uh, use it directly. So I've got two experiences here of one vehicle where I've put one of these audio uh, Toto systems in and had to use an audio interface because of the specific vehicle. And then in this vehicle where I'm using uh, the Toto, but could wire it directly into uh, the vehicle's uh, factory wiring without any other uh, equipment or anything to make it work. The other uh, big difference here with this particular unit that I got to try out that I don't have the luxury of with my uh, work vehicle is that with the work truck, I'm the only one that ever drives it. So it always works flawlessly. I get in, it connects and uh, it always works. And one of the things in the back of my head uh, throughout the year of using that unit was how would it work if you had multiple drivers of the same vehicle? Would it work just as flawlessly? Will it connect every time? And uh, so with this vehicle, I had the opportunity because my uh, kids, both my kids, uh, uh, young adults, and uh, they will both drive this car. So we have three phones uh, connected uh, to this particular uh, Etoto A6PF and it works flawlessly. What it does is it will connect to Bluetooth to the last phone that was connected uh, to it. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you get into the car and there's, you know, maybe the three drivers that normally drive the car are all in with their phones, it'll connect to whoever's, whoever's phone was the last that was connected to it. And uh, if you want to simply switch to a different driver, you just go to this little uh, Bluetooth uh, icon here. And uh, this is where uh, you can use, uh, you know, play your Bluetooth audio and stuff if you don't want to use like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and you just want to basically use, you know, sort of the uh, built-in features of uh, the radio. Uh, it gives you, uh, you know, your like phone here. It gives you uh, your contact list. Um, gives you your Bluetooth music, but then here in the settings, uh, you can connect a new phone. And then there's also a little icon here for uh, switching uh, different users. So you can see uh, the three uh, users here uh, on the screen and you would just tap, uh, you know, somebody else's name and it would connect uh, to that person's phone. And it's as simple uh, as that. Uh, currently, I've got uh, my own phone uh, connected and you can see uh, that it's getting a connection here showing me the antenna and battery life and all that of my phone. And it works uh, pretty flawlessly uh, with that, uh, with multiple drivers, uh, no issue. Uh, the nice uh, major difference, I would say, between this particular A6 uh, PF versus that S8 standard is that S8 standard uh, came with uh, uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. Uh, you could also use Apple CarPlay wired as well if you plug it in. Uh, but if you're an Android user, the S8 uh, standard, uh, you have to have, um, for Android uh, Auto, it has to be wired. There is no wireless uh, Android Auto in the S8 standard. With this A6PF model, it comes with both wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you're an Android user and you want to be able to use it wirelessly, then this A6PF uh, is definitely uh, the way to go. Uh, in that regard. Uh, for connecting Apple CarPlay, it's very easy. Obviously, once you turn on the vehicle and you see uh, that your Bluetooth is connecting uh, to your phone, you just tap this little uh, car link button there and you'll see it'll go through a, a little uh, a verification and connection. And there you go. Uh, I've got uh, my uh, Apple CarPlay hooked up. Uh, but yeah, you've got uh, your access to your podcasts, uh, your uh, Google Maps, um, Apple Maps, uh, your phone, of course, uh, your music uh, and messages. Uh, so, very so like I say, overall, the unit uh, has been fantastic. I'll just play a little bit of a sample so you can hear it. And use my steering wheel controls to raise the volume. So it's very, very cool. And like I said, uh, you can uh, go into all the different settings. The equalizer there, you can see the different 
different modes there that you can switch. So this is on standard right now. If I go to like jazz, You see, very, very cool. The sound field uh, feature, just go back to standard here. You got a sound feature here where you can change sort of uh, the where the sound is coming from. So you can have, if you just want sort of the front driver side, you can hear it's just coming out of sort of the tweeter here in the front. Or if I want the sound coming from the back, rear, on one side or the, the opposite side. If I want the sound coming in the center or, you know, in the middle. Very cool, very intuitive uh, to be able to use. The radio reception to be uh, very good as well, at least for FM, for AM, uh, around power lines and stuff like that, uh, you do get a little bit of static, uh, but I think that's normal for uh, AM uh, type radios. Uh, but for FM, uh, you get a, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, clarity and a lot of uh, options for presets. You can see here on the bottom, it gives you six different presets, but it gives you three pages of those. Uh, so, uh, you know, if I change the band there, you can see uh, it's going up to preset number 12. If I press it again, it's going up to 18 there. So you can have up to 18 FM stations preset. If I hit the band again, then it goes into the AM bands and I've got six. If I press it again, it goes into a second page of AM bands. Uh, so then it gives you a total of uh, 12 uh, different AM stations that you can uh, save there. So along with this uh, Etoto A6PF, I also got uh, the rear uh, HD camera kit as well as Etoto's uh, dash cam kit. And uh, I haven't installed them yet. Uh, with this vehicle, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than it was uh, uh, when I installed those on my uh, lawn care truck uh, there beside me. <clears throat> Uh, particular because uh, this vehicle has a hatchback and it's got the license plate on the actual hatchback door. So to mount that rear camera has to be done on that uh, hatchback that is opening and closing. So I got to figure out a way to get the wire inside that and then up through the little rubber boot thing that uh, connects uh, to the vehicle uh, with all the wiring uh, and to be able to get power to that because there's no lights on my back hatchback. Uh, to be able to power the camera on that end and then uh, get the wire to uh, the uh, unit itself. For the dash cam, uh, equally uh, a little bit more uh, complicated for this particular vehicle uh, because normally I would, uh, you know, put the dash cam up uh, on the top of the windshield uh, to get a good view there. Uh, but on this particular vehicle, uh, I noticed after uh, getting all the pieces that uh, my vehicle has uh, side restraining airbags in uh, the pillars there. Uh, so I don't think I want to mess with pulling those covers off and running wires in there if there's airbags uh, in there. Uh, so I haven't figured out a solution yet on where or how I would mount uh, the uh, dash cam for this particular unit. Uh, still researching on the, sort of the best and safest way to do that uh, for this particular uh, vehicle. Uh, the other thing uh, that they have uh, some neat uh, uh, sort of things as well is uh, they've got a lot of uh, neat accessories like a TPMS system uh, that you can purchase uh, 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 externally as well or as an accessory. Uh, and basically it's uh, little dust covers uh, for each of the valve stems on your tires. And uh, you would put those on, but they have little sensors on them to uh, basically display uh, what your uh, tire pressure would be. And you can set notifications uh, on the actual unit as well uh, to let you uh, know if uh, you know, you're know uh, you losing air in a tire or if you've got one of the tires low, you can set sort of the pressures there. So I'll show you just sort of uh, quickly there. So you can see a sort of a bird's eye view of a vehicle there. And then it's got the four uh, corners that would display the temperature and the tire pressure for the car you can set in. Um, you know, if you were to set that up, you can set up, uh, you know, the different pressures and thresholds that you want the alarms to go off uh, to let you know uh, when, you know, a tire is uh, sort of uh, going flat or anything like that. So, so there you have it, Lawn Care Nation. Uh, that is the Toto A6PF. Uh, just a fantastic value uh, for uh, the price of these units and what you get and what you're able to do with them. Basically, uh, you know, sky's the limit. If you can do it on an Android device, uh, you can do it uh, here on these units and would make a fantastic 
basic upgrade for any sort of like lawn care truck or even your daily driver uh, like I put in uh, for this one uh, which is why I wanted the second one because the one in the lawn care truck just worked out uh, so well. Uh, so that's it for this one guys if you like this video make sure you hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing leave a comment down below let me know what you think of these a toto uh android based head units and uh, also let me know if you have any questions about this particular unit and i'll do my best uh, to answer them so that's it for this one guys bye for now